Hi everybody, how are you? It's Leslie McGrath from Scrapping Life Away, and it's that time of month again. It's time for another edition of Gina B. Aaron's Design Team for 2018, and our um, March prompt is portion, section, or segment. And I have a fantastic idea for this page. So I'm going to grab my supplies and let's get started. Okay, I am back. And I have four colors of yellow here that I'm going to use. I've got my cad yellow. I have bright yellow, daffodil yellow, and possibly some buttermilk. And then I'm going to add a little bit later on some antique gold. These are all Deco Art Americana paints. And I'm going to start by getting the crusties off here. And I'm just going to put some pieces of the, just kind of put some drops on here. Really? Come on. I don't want to do too hard. I'll end up like a big glob of it. I see that air bubble. There we go. And this is the bright yellow. Then this is the crafter's yellow. I'm sorry, daffodil yellow. And I've already pre gessoed this page. I think I do want to come in with a little bit of buttermilk. Just to lighten this up just a little bit. All right, Whoa. dropping paint everywhere. So I have a dry brush here and I'm just gonna kind of swish it all around. I knew I forgot something. Protect the page underneath. Get down in the crack right down there of the spine. Definitely want to add areas to lighten it up a little bit. And then I want to lighten it up even more. You notice I'm not changing my brush. I really do enjoy this buttermilk. Ooh, I got a little something in there I don't want. I got something up there. Crusties, I hate them. All right, so in doing that, that just kind of adds a little bit of dimension. So that way it's yellow, but it's not in your face bright yellow. All 
Okay. I'm liking that. Let me give it a dry and let's see where okay. we are. I've put a few more coats of paint on here just to get a little bit more um, differentiation in my color. I'm going to pull you in and see if you can see that. There's a little bit of just difference with the yellow. Some light, some dark, some really light. I'm going to go ahead and finish drying this up and see what kind of colors I have to see if I need to add any more colors of yellow. Be okay. right back. I've given this a pretty good dry. I'm going to set this off to the side just to let it dry a little bit more. And I've been propping this up using my acrylic gesso by Dale Rowney. And that's the gesso that I use to uh, prep the surface. And what I'm going to get, oh, I've got some crumblies here. Right, I had this piece of white, um, just a piece of white cardstock. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab some different colors um, that we're going to put on here. And so let me grab those and I'll be right back. Okay, I have some of my colors here. I had to kind of, whoa, clean them up a little bit. Some of them I hadn't used in a while. But I'm just going to start throwing down some colors and I may have to um, dry some um, spots in between so that I don't make mud. But I know this looks kind of crazy, but I promise there is a method to my madness. And it'll be really cool when I'm done. Okay, so let's throw some lighter, whoa, the crusties out of here, thought I had them all out, some light blue in here, I'm not too worried about getting any paint on my mat because it's just a craft mat that doesn't matter everything. The nice thing about these craft mats is that everything wipes off of it. I thought I saw a crusty. I'm going to go into work tomorrow with blue hands. Actually, my hands should be pretty much okay with the because I use the um, the art guard. But I love this process I'm doing here because it's it's just kind of mixing everything up together, but then I'm going to put a um, some designs on top of it. So, and then we're going to do something really neat with it after we get it all dried up. But first, I need to get it to this page full of paint. And that's the one thing I love about this and about mixed media is you just throw it on. Just put it anywhere. I apologize if I am not talking. When I start to create, I just get really in the moment, I guess. I'm not quiet very often, trust me. Ask anybody in my family. And I want some more of this. Let's do this. Let's kind of do some swirlies.
Okay, I'm going to dry this up, clean off my brush, and we're going to add a few new colors. So, we'll be right back. Okay, I've given this a little dry here. I suppose I should look to see if this has got yucky stuff in it too. Oh, let me clean this one up. I'll be right back. Okay, so in the process of trying to clean up um, some of this paint that had gotten stuck in the bottle, um, I got it like everywhere. <laughs> so I'm just um, pulling it like off my fingers and off this mess and I'm just going to kind of add some of this in here. <laughs> I don't want to waste any of this paint. Just I throw the cap around. Goodness gracious. Look at these fingers. Huh? <laughs> That's a sign of a good time. We got some icky stuff in here. I'm going to have some cleaning to do today, tonight. I know. Let's throw some dark turquoise in here for the heck of it. Let's see how much of a mess I can make with this. Oh, yeah. I don't know if you can tell, but there's really some cool mixtures of color going on there. And I want it a little bit darker. Get my sleeve up out of the way. My fingers are actually pulling up the paper. Cool. Very cool. All right. I think I might want to go in with a little bit of the light blue. Just because. Okay, I'm going to give this a dry, and I'll be back. Okay, we're going to get into the texture making process of this, and I'm going to start by bringing back a little bit of the light blue, and just so you know what colors I've used to make this concoction, I started out with bright blue and cool blue. And then I've added dark turquoise and peacock teal. And what I'm going to do just to start a little bit of the texture. Notice I said start, keyword. <laughs> I put some of the cool blue on my palette here. And I have a little bit of bubble wrap. 
and I just want to start adding some texture. And I want to lighten this up. Just I want to use the lighter color because the background is so dark. And I'm going to be adding some other things to this as well. All right. I like how that looks. And well, you know what? <laughs> I think I wanted to go up the sides a little bit so it doesn't look quite so planned. And not that this is really planned. I mean, I have an idea in my head, but nothing is ever truly planned. Clean this up. Okay, I'm going to dry this up. I'll be right back. Okay, hi there. We're back. So I have here some of Gina's stencils. I have got the one that's like a, you know, and I'm sorry, I can never remember the names of these. I need to put them on here. Um, but this is like a, a pot, you know, the, um, I don't know what they're called, but I like this design right here for some texture. And of course, this is one of her new, brand new ones. This one was just released in February. Let's saw four different um, things there. And then I'm also going to bring this in because not that I'm going to put her on here, but I love this in here. I want to use some of it in my texture here. So we're going to kind of start light to dark put a little bit of that there and I think I'm going to start with this and I'm just going to do this really random because I don't want it to really look too, I just really like the randomness of it. There's going to be some really cool things going on on this piece, so I'm not worried if it's, uh, not enough. <laughs> Very cool. Very cool. Very, very cool. And this is just a makeup sponge that I'm using. See how she's adding some really cool texture. Stick that up there. I'm going to add a new color. I did that one. All right, yeah. And that color that I used was cherry blossom pink. And this one is rosy posy. Don't you just love these names? Rosie Posey. Who came up with these names? Great paint. Funky names. Just checking to make sure I'm still in frame. Like I said, the, the fun of this is just being so random. I 
and you also want to try and make sure that you don't um, get this completely saturated. Um, I've done that before and then it gets underneath here and it leaves impressions that you don't want. So sometimes I'll stop and clean the bottom of this off, but this would also make a really nice border, just this part of it. And my furnace just kicked on, so if you hear the whistling, that's what that is. I have the vent turned off here in my craft room, but um, so it tends to whistle because I'm at that age where I'm warm enough. I'm sure I drive my husband crazy, but I figure he'll survive. He will survive. Any husband worth his salt knows he does not mess with the thermostat. When a woman's when a woman is in menopause. Not if he values his life. All right, that's coming along. Okay, so I'm going to put this there, that there, and that up there. Now let's go in with another new color. We're going to introduce Tutti Fruity. Sounds like it should be served over ice. <laughs> Tutti Fruity. And I am going to use these little circle berry top things. And you notice when I stick my sponge in the paint, I'm kind of pouncing it off here. I think I said that before, but just in case I thought I'd revisit that little tidbit. That's pretty close to the other color, isn't it? Hmm. All right, it is a little close. At least that's the way it appears. These are kind of cool. Now my favorite's the next one. That is the favorite, favorite, favorite one. Hmm. What about over here? Like them when they're coming off the edge. Okay, now that color's there. Same stencil, except I'm going to bring out a new color. And this color is Plum Prune. Put that over here on my. 
tray. I'm going to get another. I don't know, like this one. Let's get a different one. I love me my exes. I love the, all of these stencils that I've used so far. These are all Gina's and they're all available in her Etsy shop. And I will be putting a link down below. And I believe until April 1st, there is a sale going on on her inventory. She's trying to clear out some of the old inventory to make room for the new inventory coming in. All these new stencils and stamps she has coming that she has been releasing. So I will make sure that this is all listed below. And you know, we also have a really great team of um, designers. Um, for Gina's um, line. So I would really suggest, um, man, check these girls out. I will make sure that they are also linked. Their videos for this month are linked below. Um, just a really great group of, um, of gals. And uh, it's pretty cool when you meet some, meet some of these people online as we do and you kind of feel like you've known them forever. That's really cool. I like how that's turned out. A little bit more. Just, I know I keep saying a little bit more until it's going to be like crazy covered, but that's okay. This is, I swear, every video I have done has always had these X's in it. I absolutely just love them. <laughs> I know Gina doesn't mind. She says, do whatever you want. Make yourself happy. And I do. And I just ordered some more. I should have some more inventory coming in of her, some of her new designs. So I'm excited about that. All right. How do you think that looks? I think that looks pretty good. Don't you? Nice and textured. You know, this has something to do with that other part we're doing. Just so you know, <laughs> I didn't forget about my other pieces part. I'm trying to think if there's anything more I want to add to this. Hmm. Hmm. Ha, ha, ha. Don't have any. Ooh. I wonder. That's not. I have this, well, it's Oyster Pearl. Let me see. I would usually use a fan brush because I want to put some splatters on here. But 
I don't want to water this down because it's a metallic. I don't want to water down the metallic. Of course, as usual, is gunky at the top. I love Americana paints. I really do. But I swear to God, if you do not use them every single day, they get crummy at the top. I mean, it comes right off. Don't get me wrong. It comes right off. But, all right, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to try something here. All right, this is Oyster Pearl. It's part of the Dazzling Metallics by Deco Art. I'm going to try something here. not be close enough to it. Hmm. It's not working. Let me figure something out. I'll be right back. Okay, got it. That was fast, wasn't it? <laughs> All right, so instead of doing that why don't I just do this I'm just gonna make some marks I'm gonna make marks all over the place You can use anything to make marks. Um, heck, I've used a toothbrush in the past to make marks. This is turning out, this is such bad English. Don't tell my son, who's the English major. This is turning out cooler and cooler. <laughs> More cool. You could also use a credit card to do this, preferably one that's not, um, one that's still in use. <laughs> Use an old one. Awesome size. Now let's see if I can just put some random drag marks through here. I'm 
smells like shooting stars. Okay, that's way cool. Put that off to the side. What else can I add to this? Hmm. Ice glue. Hmm. I added just a touch of this. I can't get it open. Hold on. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I got it. I'm just going to take a tad of this. It's called Metallic pipette, 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 Peacock Pearl. And I just want to reintroduce some of that blue. All using metallics. So that was a little too much there. Move those out of the way. I'm not trying to tone it down, but I'm just trying to bring some more metallic in here. But yet, try and stay within the, all the same color families per se. Not a lot. I'm really almost done, actually. You really almost cannot see it. But it's just enough that it's adding a little bit of shimmer to... To this page. Not a lot of shimmer, but just enough shimmer. Okay. All right, I am going to dry this up and I'll be back in just a minute. Okay, I'm back. What I've done, besides make a mess, is I added more marks. I couldn't help myself. I added more marks. All right, so what I've done is I've taken um, like an inch and a quarter and cut it off here and then I cut them into squares like that. These would actually make really cool inches or inchy and a quarters, <laughs> however you want to put it. Anyway, so I've cut those off and then I need to cut a couple more pieces off. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and then I'll be back Okay, I've gotten everything that I needed cut. I've got this left. I have three of these. These are four inches. And these are three inches. These are all like an inch and a quarter. But now, as you can tell, these are going to be stems. And these are going to be leaves. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take Gina's stamp collection number two and I like that leaf it's nice and small yes it's the smallest one all right so what we're going to do we're going to take that one small block here Whoa. I'm going to turn this over so you can see my dirty mess on the back. And I need to stamp 12 leaves and this, this will make a perfect leaf. Now I need to get my stays on as I drop everything on top of myself here. 
I'm going to use jet black. And I need a mat. Because I want a real good This is a piece of wood, like a frame that I picked up at, no, um, I did not, well, I'm sure it came from Michael's, but this girl that I used to know gave it to me. She didn't want it anymore. She couldn't find anything to do with it or whatever, but I rescued it from being put in the trash. All right. So I need 12 of these. One. Okay. And again, this was Gina's um, stamp collection set number two. Now I'm going to just stick this right back in here for the time being. And stick this up. And I'm going to cut these out and I'll be right back. Okay. Once again, I lied. I'm not quite done with this page. <laughs> I'm just taking a sponge that. Um, a sea sponge that I am dipping in some really light metallic green paint just because I think this page is too yellow. And again, I just want a little bit. Please excuse the laughing in the background. I forgot to close my door and my son is playing video games. <laughs> And I don't give him a hard time. He's an accountant. He's worked hard all day. And if the boy wants to play video games, then by golly, have at it. Okay, that's done. Let me dry it up. And I promise we're almost finished. Oh, I didn't get it up close so you could see it. Look at that. And it shivers. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay. I think we're about ready to glue everything down and finish this baby up. What do you say? All right. I'm going to start by laying down my stems and I'm going to use my Tombow Aqua Mono Liquid Glue um, just because it's it's got a, um, a pen tip and I really like that. Okay. Got it going. So I'm just going to put some of this on here. And I'm going to set it right down there like that. Give it a hold for a second and make sure my flower has enough room. Yeah. I guess I should have measured some of that out before, huh? <laughs> oh, well, that's all right. Kind of right in the middle. Almost there. <laughs> I 
had to text my son and say, hey, I'm still filming. Be quiet. <laughs> he just texted me back. Sorry. <laughs> it's been a lot of fun having him move back home. Um, we thought it was foolish for him to be living on his own and paying rent when he has school loans when he could live here for free. Kind of made a little more sense. And that's not to say, you know, sometimes it was a little, but you know, he, uh, He's a good kid. He's really not around that often, so puts in a lot of hours, especially this time of year. These are some funky looking flowers, and that's kind of the way I wanted it because they're sections, they're pieces, parts. I love it. I think they're adorable. Who says the flowers need to be round? I know what I like about this blue is it does grab pretty quickly. It's almost time for some more. It's just about out. But I have a feeling it will get me through this project. I was saying, remember, I had um, that's the ink side, but I want this painted side. I just really like the way the uh, it looked as a leaf. Put these down as leaves. I am so ready for springtime and summer. These are my favorite times of the year. It's when my body doesn't hurt the most. And I hope everybody's getting healthy. Boy, I'll tell you what, the flu hit the McGrath house hard. Hard, hard, hard. There have been some sick people here. And I still don't think I'm completely over it. I mean, I get home from work and I just want to go to sleep. And the same thing, you know, like on weekends. I mean, geez, all I do is I just want to sleep. This flu has just really um, taken a lot out of us. Oh my gosh, these are just so stinking adorable. Okay, so time to put on the title.
There we go. Spring flowers in bloom. I love it. I like it. I like it a lot. Let's try this gel pen. Oh, yeah. Much better. I think. I think. I want it real scribbly. This is very much out of my comfort zone because I don't usually do things scribbly. And flowers always used to be round. I thought, you know what, wait a minute. Why? Why do they have to be round? They don't have to be round. They can be square. Do not need to fit everything into a perfect circle. So as far as I'm concerned, square pegs do fit in round holes <laughs> because I said so. This is my artwork. See, I just love, oh, I'm off, <laughs> I'm on a shot, sorry. And now, let's see if we can't do something here. That's kind of. Make that stand out. Pull you back out a little bit. This is just um, a cheap gel pen. Um, nothing special about it. Um, I've got some really nice ones that Cindy um, Utter sent me. But I was going to let these run out first before I start using those. I'm going to take that away. I don't need this anymore. I think it needs a border. Just a scribbly scratch one. Well, I am really pulling you guys out. Sorry.
across the top here. Spring flowers in bloom. Square pegs do fit in round holes. Aren't those awesome? So those are my segmented flowers. I hope you all enjoyed this process. And uh, I hope you have a really great day. So enjoy yourself. And one more thing. Please be nice. It's really not that hard. Have a great night, everybody. Bye-bye. <laughs>